with Jesse Gunkel. Welcome back. Well, it was nice to see a little bit of sunshine today. We still got those sunny skies currently in place. Clouds will continue to decrease overnight. Moving into the weekend, it gets a little bit mild. We quickly jump back into the mid to upper 80s out there. Feel like temperatures most likely just shy of 90, but it doesn't last long. And I think that's the key here. We've got another cold front on the way, a stronger one arriving on Monday. The possibility of some storms. We're talking midday to late. Otherwise, once that cold front moves through, We've got the coldest air of the season so far arriving as we head into early next week. A nice little cool down, and it's definitely going to really start to feel a lot like our autumn season has begun. As you see, again, big picture out there that that front has moved on. A couple lingering clouds mainly towards the north of us, but otherwise high pressure moves in. If we get a shower tomorrow, it's going to be right along the coast, but further inland, it's a dry day. We're going to see a couple clouds out there, and really that's the only issue moving forward. A couple more clouds moving into Sunday as we stay mainly dry across the board. Just look for those storms to arrive as we head into your Monday. Again, it's all ahead of that, that front. That's going to be the lifting mechanism that's going to fire off those showers and thunderstorms. And you can see those storms kind of entering the picture all the way up towards the northwest. Well, that should be arriving probably late on Monday, moving into very early on Tuesday. But they quickly clear. And as you see here, again, the best opportunity for some rain will be late on Monday, possibly very early on Tuesday. But after that, it's a very dry. Pattern. You can see overall estimates. Most of the rainfall from that front over the next seven days, most areas probably about a half an inch or less. Maybe localized pockets could see a little bit more on Monday. The other big takeaway our winds right now, you can see here sitting out in the north, and that's a good sign. We're still underneath a coastal flood advisory until noon on Saturday, but because of those northerly winds, it's going to push all that water back out into the lakes and it should finally expire. 78 out there, some sunshine at this hour. Feels like 80. Winds out of the north northeast now at 3 miles per hour. Current feel like temperatures range anywhere from lower 70s to low to even mid 80s across the board. I think the key takeaway tomorrow is we still got a lot of sunshine, mainly dry. Yes, we can't tailgate, but it's still going to be a gorgeous day to get out and about. If you're going to be maybe even spending some time, maybe on a restaurant patio, just catching the game and having a little bit of fun, should be a beautiful day where we don't have to worry about rainfall. But the big story is obviously those cold fronts next week. One on Monday and one on Thursday. The one on Thursday is the one that's going to really drop our temperatures. We're talking highs on the backside of that front, 70s, overnight lows, 50s, potentially even 40s out there. Areas mainly for the Midwest could even drop below freeze. And we're talking temperatures well below normal. We should be sitting around the mid to upper 80s for daytime highs with mid 60s for your overnight lows. And yeah, if we're talking low 50s, out there come next week. Yeah, it's going to be a pretty chilly forecast. You're going to have to pull out the sweaters and the light coats and those warm socks because those temperatures are going to rapidly drop. We're finally going to give the AC a little bit of a break. Also, quiet in the tropics. Right now, nothing expected over the next five days. But remember, we have a lot of season left, so always stay prepared and have a game plan. Here is that seven day picture for you. And notice again, we've got some sunshine tomorrow with a couple clouds out there. Good mixture. 68 overnight. We'll climb to about 86 on Sunday, maybe one or two showers, but mainly near the coast. Most of the storms will wait until Monday, probably afternoon and evening. That seems to be the timetable at this point. Otherwise, some early lingering showers on Tuesday, but beyond that, a lot of sunshine. High sitting in the 70s, overnight lows dipping in the 50s. And with that secondary front moving in by Thursday, that cold air finally catches up. By Friday night, we could see our temperatures possibly even dip into the upper 40s out there. So again, we're going to have some beautiful cold, crisp air on the way heading into next week. Your ski meter at this point still a little bit high, but it should drop by the end of the weekend.